Oh yes, the Sunday vibes are here, but this episode's coming on a Monday. So are you preparing for your work week? Are you making them dollars? Are you going to the bank? What's going on? Another episode of Tales from the Crib. What's going on, people? My co-host took one too many perk 30s. <laughs> you a hater, man. Just feeling like little baby, and he has to... Hey, hey, bite that bird. But yeah, this isn't it, Dancing with the Stars. I don't know what you thought this was. I'm, if it was Dancing with the Stars, I'd be a winner. We already know I'm better than Nelly. Pause. Hey, I thought I thought Nelly got exposed. <laughs> <laughs> My guy thought Nelly got exposed as being real average. Listen here, man. We ain't finna expose it for being little Shaq, little baby Shaq. But you know what we are gonna do? I'm gonna let you know who this is. It's your boy, Jesse J. Mr. Purple Rain itself. Mr. Better see your girl in a purple thong. Mr. Hold on, we coming on. Mr. Baby girl, grab up, it's coming on. It's coming on. You better stop strong. before you get canceled. You're sounding real Donald Trumpy. <laughs> Oh, Lord. But it's your boy Chico Grande, aka Action Jackson, aka your mother's favorite son, aka the chosen one. Oh, and we back with another episode. We are on episode fifty. Ah oh, man, they ain't ready for it. They didn't think it was gonna make it this far. They said we're in the corner, episode three. But look at that, fifty. We're two episodes away from a year of tales from the crib. How and, you feeling about it? And we three episodes away from a hundred subscribers. So you better tell a friend. Three episodes, three subscribers away. Three subscribers away from a hundred. Come on. You know, so tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Oh, and you follow us on Instagram. Because we have over 150 followers on Instagram. You need a mother effing subscribe. I know. It don't make no sense. The math ain't mathing. We get all kinds of views, but like 90% of you are not subscribed. So hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit all the buttons. Hit the bell. You know what happens when you hit all the buttons? You make it rain, baby. Exactly. Gavin's going to give you that give you the income tax money. Like I said. I already spent it. I already oh. lost it on uh, NBA gambling. Lost it on these playoffs have, have ruined my soul. You lost it, lost it. You switch on my nip. I bet it all on KD, and <laughs> he struck me down just again. That's but never we'll get happen. into that later. <laughs> what you can do is follow me on Twitter at Papa Oblock, also says Chico Grande, or follow my co host, uh, Mr. At Felix Supreme 305. 305. Follow you know? him for all your racist, transphobic, unmentionable, <laughs> unforgivable language. It's all on his Twitter. What are you talking about? This year. On Wednesday, we have a Bible study. On Tuesday, we have <laughs> rehearsal for chorus practice. Ain't no toxic stuff over here oh, yeah, and Christians. You look reformed over there. What do you what do you you don't even have a twisted tea can? You have a, a teacup. You know what I mean? You know, I'm trying to do a real simple, real slight today. You know, today's you know, today's a real special day. Boston over there waxing wax it. Today's that booty. episode's sp- sponsored by Snapple, but look, since it's green, you can't see it. <laughs> See it correctly. It's a dirty Snapple. <laughs> the Snapple's like, gone like... bad. <laughs> but um, we need to get into other things. You need to follow our music playlist, TFTC Music Mix number two. Is at two twenty six videos. We're keeping this playlist going all the way till uh, two fifty, and then we'll make TFTC Music Mix mm-hmm. number three. We have one thousand. 150 views so it is oh, doing man great. that's amazing i i mean the fact I think that we, we got, got more than 100 views since last week on the playlist it's me because i'm i think i added my, my my rap video in there no you just keep on trying to add freaking rico suave over and over again let's see a five-year We're, foreign is amazing you will respect the king of new york talking about. oh my god <laughs> but you, you need to follow us on instagram so you can know what's going on. No one we're running on schedule. No one we're behind. No one that was a Monday episode. Maybe we'll come on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Find it out all on Tales from the Crib. And you can catch our other info from our other channels. But it's time for the couch announcements. Couch announcements. At least you didn't ask couch me to throw you on the couch this time. You remember last episode? You're like, throw me on the couch. And I'm like, I don't work like that. Listen here, man. I don't know how many honey packs you took that day, but we ain't with that, Gavin. Calm down. You asked me, fool. Get your mind right. But we got some couch announcements. We're sorry that we've been uh, procrastinating on crib reactions, but a lot of the videos we've been trying to do have getting flagged, and we don't want to rush it. But now we found a way to beat the system. 
So, so hopefully we'll get those videos up coming soon. TFTC Gaming is linked to our twi uh, Twitch account where me and my co-host do a whole bunch of gaming. And uh, you'll get our Twitch clips there. Or you could always follow us on Twitch at Tales from the Crib. Also, on Couch Announcements, I will be playing WWE, the new 2K22 You've been WWE. making promises. Are you this actually going to buy it? I'm I want to see this game. You, you, you going to play it? Well, we can make custom characters and have them fight each other. So if I get another controller, are you going to... I'll bring my controller. Okay. <laughs> watch this. It's about to go down. Remember to watch it. Tells Gaming. What's the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the channel again? It's a TFTC Gaming. I think they need to see it. So let, let, them, let them see what they... How, how will they find it? Let them see what the uh... it's uh it's linked. If you just go to our channel page and you mm -hmm. go to the bottom, it'll say other channels. It'll have crib reactions and TFTC gaming. I'll go ahead and pull it up right here. It'll have these pictures. Um, you got um Han Solo over there on crib reactions with Lando Calrissian in one picture, and then you got the uh, Lethal Weapon duo in the other picture. You got you know, Mel so... Gibson and Danny Glover. It's amazing, you know. We put we put heart, we put our blood, sweat, and tears in it. So please watch it, you know. Especially my co-host tears when he's losing in two K. You know, I really don't care if I lose in two K. You know, two okay, K. <laughs> I really don't care if I lose you in two K. It's all practice. It's all practice. You know what I mean? If y'all see it, you know what's all right because you see the next game. I'm waxing that booty like Mr. Miyagi. Wax on, wax off. I'm pretty sure that's banned in like thirty states. <laughs> but speaking of crying about things, we need to go ahead and jump into the show. Get the show started. We're going to start off with some celebrity news. And Cardi B tearfully explains why she didn't want to do a drill song. Uh, Shake It is her most recent song. She goes, these songs activating demons that I killed. I don't want to be that old Cardi anymore. I just want to be a mother. Do you want to hear this audio clip? I want to hear Let's see what she's talking about, man. This is ridiculous. That's kind of why I didn't want her to do this song, Shake It, or like any drill songs because... Fire song. Fire. It's like these songs are activating like these demons that I killed. You know she what I'm saying? Them. Like I don't want to be that girl anymore. Like I don't want you to be that girl anymore, Cardi. Like, yes, you do. I just want to be a mother. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like, then why'd you make this song? I don't want to be that old Cardi anymore. I left that lifestyle. A long time ago, bro. Like, Did she leave just, that lifestyle when she made what? I don't want to be that anymore. Like, and she's coming back. She's coming she's back. She's coming back, bro. Like, I feel like, I feel like getting a cane. What? She's gonna hit you with if her you cane. You know about the canes that you know. Oh man. I don't want to be that anymore. I want to be a mother. I want to be a, a mother. mother. This song is activating demons that I locked away a long time ago. How long is she going to cry? And it's coming I don't know, I mean. And I don't want to be that. I want to be a good person. So now, what kind of demon she's talking to. about? She, wasn't she, she work? Didn't, wasn't Shake It with uh, that dude, uh, K Flock, that was in jail for shooting someone? Mm hmm. So she, she want to be a good person when she decided to make the song with someone that shoots people? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, and didn't she used to rob people when she was a stripper? She's a changed woman now. She's a mother, Gavin. You got to respect her. But those demons are coming back. <laughs> They're haunting her. She got she's song. hearing voices in her head. Oh, God. She's Randy Orton now. Shake it, Cardi. Oh. She just shake it. <laughs> oh, so let me tell you how I caught Gavin yesterday dancing to the song in the bathroom. It made no sense, and he was shake. He was trying to shake. No, no. He was no. trying to get everyone sturdy with it. Uh, is this coming from the man wearing a purple rain shirt right now? I give everybody. I mean, I got a Dragon Ball Z shirt that shows people fighting. You're the guy with the purple shirt with the guy that wears makeup. Oh, let's see here. I'm over here trying to respect my so respect all legends, but back to Cardi. He's not a legend. It would have. The fuck? <laughs> Watch your language. Listen, He's calm, so astonished. Listen, calm down. But I mean, I don't understand. The, only, what... the thing that made him was a legend was when Dave Chappelle told stories about no, when him, he not to... his music. No, what made him a legend is when everybody found out that he tried to run Michael Jackson over with his car or the other way around. One of the that, to... that does make him a legend. He cooks <laughs> waffles and he can dunk in basketball. That was fire. But I mean, with this whole, I don't understand why everybody keeps talking about demons. Like, what does it mean? Like, oh, they're coming back. Like, this is like your bad behavior. So like, do you bad have habits demons you have. after you play Call of Duty? I don't play do Call you? of Duty. I get most. No, sickness. but I'm. <laughs> what a weakling! 
Oh god, this guy's always got to ride in the back with like, his. I mean, okay, okay, okay. So how about this? Is this is this fighting demons? Like back in the day, I remember I used to be like a hard. Like I used to go to the gas station, Walmart. And it's always still a Snickers bar or like some M and M's. Don't be like him, chill. And like, so if I go to the grocery store and I like want the urge to still again, is that like the demons coming after me? Yeah, that's the demons. It's the demons. It's the same demons that got Will Smith. Or is it like, it's like the devil got me? Or is it like when it's your off day at work and your job calls you to call in? It's like the demon's calling you? That's when your phone goes straight to decline. My phone was off. <laughs> My phone was what? My phone was off. Or you could be like our friend, uh, six pounds, seven ounce baby Jesus. Uh, he used to claim that he was super religious, so he could never work on closing day, which was Sunday, yeah. because he had to go to church. What a little goofy. He didn't even know where the nearest church he is. He's never been to church in his life. He, he doesn't even know how to spell Jesus. If he walked into church, he might turn on fire. Jesus is actually your name. He didn't even know how to spell it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, <laughs> he, he at least knows that. Shout out, Jesus. We look we look for you to be back on the show to defend yourself soon. We look into the ground. Watch out. But um, you know who else is beating people to the ground? <laughs> you know who needs else to watch out? Um, it Pedestrian looks, is on the plane. Yeah, I'm going to take us off screen real quick. And so it says video surfaces of Mike Tyson punching a man on the plane going, Waka, ka, 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 ka. he was hungry. He wanted a snicker. They put it. He wanted to be in first class. I was like, no, Mr. Tyson, you go on the back. You went commercial. No, supposedly it was a dude heckling him. Um, I'll throw us back on screen for a sec. But supposedly it was a dude heckling him um, because of. Like, just wanting to talk to him, and he's like, all right, I'm done, and the dude wouldn't leave him alone, and then the dude started being a jerk, and then Mike Tyson had to put him in his place. Oh, then I'm all for it. I support it. Let me see the video. Let's watch it. Give him the beats. Beat him like a punching bag. That's what I'm going to do, Gavin. I've been waiting for it. Listen, I've been going to the gym, doing my... And they crunches, and they squats every two days. Just know, you know what? TFTC fight night is You know what? A hundred crunches don't help you with what? Your jump shot. <laughs> it's not basketball, guy. Still can't shoot. This man's over here like Tony Allen. So you do think the man is gonna sue? Like, do you think he's gonna win? I mean, I think that people will vouch for Mike Tyson. In his face tat Or I mean, they'll get the beats too Exactly I mean, Mike Tyson's a changed man He has a podcast He's a family man He used to own pigeons How, yeah. some, how can you How can you sue somebody That used to own pigeons I haven't seen the podcast But I saw that he had Just had uh, Joe Rogan On his show oh, yeah Him and Joe Rogan And I was like Why did they film it From that angle When they were like Wearing shorts And it was they like It see, was like full crotch action They want you to see They want you to see them legs see the, I did leg day Check it out bro Check it Um <laughs> But speaking of people losing their temper and losing their mind, we got some late night snacking that gone went wrong. Oh man, it looks like Jack in the Box has gone wrong again. I don't blame it. Argument over sauce leads to shooting of Jack in the Box employees in North Harris County. In Houston. In Houston. Listen, Gavin always says that the most dangerous people come from Florida and H Town. Yeah. Well maybe um yeah, the most dangerous and maybe the least educated. No, big. Let's play big bank. I'm just Jake, little bank. <laughs> I'll tell that story one day. Maybe on on the uh, podcast about nothing, we'll finally do that. To the funniest story, and, in the world. Uh, <laughs> and I'll tell you the story about big bank taking little bank. But um, so apparently this person was mad that they, <laughs> this person was mad that they didn't get their sauce, their ranch. Someone that loves ranch in and around their mouth, like you know, my co-host. This is your ranch is amazing. It's the best. <laughs> Dressing next to you like I want it extra thick, but um, <laughs> um, but apparently he was mad that they only gave him one and wanted to charge him for more, and he was pulling around and saw an employee outside, and he started yelling at him, and they got in a verbal argument, and the guy was like, you know what? Boom! Shoots him in the hand, shot his thumb off, and said, take that. So wait, wait, then the the Jack in the Box worker shot the empo- no, the- no the guy from the drive thru shot the employee that was outside. That's crazy. You know. Shot his thumb off. Now he'll never be able to be good at uh, Fortnite. Now I understand why nobody wants to work at Jack in the Box. It makes sense. People get shot for sauce. I'd be, I'd be hella scared going oh, to Jack man. in the Box. I remember one time with the Jack in the Box. They have I... neck tattoos like little freaks. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. Neck tattoos are cool if you're like <laughs> if you're famous. Let's see, if you're from Houston or you got a neck tattoo, please hit me up. I will give you Gavin address. You can find them. For real. No. But for real, don't like, do it. I mean, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand the sauce epidemic we got going on, the quarter, the coin epidemic we got going on, the chicken epidemic we got going on. Why can't I have my chicken? Why can't I have as many flats as I want? Why is why is Rick Ross hiding all the flats? I don't want no f- thighs. Oh, he's thighs. I'm tired. You of said you love the thighs. I don't want no thighs. I want butt crack. Mm. <laughs> is it like that one? Uh, that one song you got to eat the booty like groceries. Nah, I heard Omarion was gay. I don't want that. Don't put that karma on me. What? <laughs> that wasn't even Omarion. <laughs> it was him and Omarion. Omarion was in the song. Oh, okay. That, you know, it sounds like it would be it an Omarion like song. It sounds like chicken fried rice. <laughs> it's just wrong, people. But speaking of just right, we got people. Oh, just right? People Are being. You agreeing? A, no, speaking of just right. Speaking of subscribing. People are hating on little bad baby. Gavin's little boo boo. Gavin loves bad baby. Let me tell no, you right no, now. No, no, It's between you and little Yachty who loves bad wait, baby. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You said you love me or little Yachty more? No, that's what you wish. You, I but wish. What I wait, said, hold on, you, well, got, what? you don't got love for me, Gavin? I thought we was cool. I thought we was friends. I thought we was Tales from the Crib. Let's just say I wouldn't pee on you if you were on fire. But. <laughs> Bad baby earned fifty million from OnlyFans, and she says her her haters to call call her the youngest female of the decade to go platinum. Call me some sh- like that. Call me the girl who got a million dollar makeup deal. The girl who made over Ooh. fifty mil on OnlyFans. She Ooh. said, "Run my check. Don't call me. Cash Ooh. me outside no more. I'm Ooh. bad baby. I'm the baddest baby." Oh, Kevin. Oh. This we have the little little button right here, and you press it, and like it'll drop bombs. I don't know. Actually. You see how excited it is? You could tell he's the biggest tipper. <laughs> the biggest tip. I don't. Let's see. I don't even tip. I don't even tip in the drive through. I don't even tip at restaurants. You're never supposed to tip at drive through. Only death of us do that. That's when they rip you off, and you're like, oh, the receipt says tip. I guess I'll put something, and it just goes to the company. It's horrible. But, but um, so apparently she balled out. We'll take a look here. Fifty she, million, really? Like the catch me outside girl from. Was it was it Maury or Jerry Springer? She was on Doctor Phil. Oh, was it originally Doctor Phil? Yeah. Oh, and she was like, and then I told her, and catch, what? Catch, catch me, me outside. outside. Barry buys uh, pays all cash six point one million in a Florida. Ma- that thing is nice. Yeah, it's I would nice. Live there. Let's see. Yeah. You need to get a sugar mama. Co-hosts were sending you to. Seduce bad baby. Let's see if you. We need a new studio in California, and this looks just right. I know. You no, look, look, no, this is in Florida. You should already know your way around. <laughs> I don't know what part of Florida this is. This you, be, you can find out. This is gonna be in Pompano. Just use your John Wick skills, and get get us in this house, and we'll have a brand new beautiful studio in Florida. Let's see, man. Just tell, let's tell her I'll, I'll wash you this and take out the trash. Everybody needs that. You can't find you can't find anybody that doesn't need somebody that's willing to wash this and take out the trash. <laughs> Am I right? You, you always need a maid. <laughs> you know, call me Jeffrey. Where's the bell? Beninga. Hey, if I could live in that house, I'd be anybody's Jeffrey. Hey, yo. Pause. Even Prince. Uh, do you have anything else to add? I love Bad Baby. Gavin loves Bad Baby. We subscribe to her OnlyFans, and I need only you- friends. That's what you have to say on YouTube. Only friends. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, speaking of crazy younglings, uh, we got... Speaking of friends. We got Matt we Barnes. We need more friends like this. Um, we need this energy in our life. Looks like Matt Barnes' son says, Kanye, you want somebody to pull up, you know, and do a, a do-to-do on Mr. Pete Davidson? You know my daddy's about that. Exactly. You know he drove those miles to knock out, give... Uh, give Mr. Derek Fisher. Fisher, a little talking to, a little, a little straightening, came that straightening. Let's uh, let's get out the way, so you can uh, read that article if you want it, talking about when he went to go <laughs> take down, uh, Derek Fisher. But here is the video of the uh, kids talking about it. Speaking of Kanye, he just dropped out of Coachella. He was about to bring Travis Scott in, but now they're both out. 
Carter, what are your thoughts? I mean, I understand why he, you They got long chins, just like Matt Barnes. <laughs> divorce, <laughs> that they're, paperwork. They're, they look like baby Barnes. Like, because I've never done it before. And the uh, Pete Davidson situation. They hate on too. About that. Oh yeah, and Kanye, if you ever need someone to roll up on Pete Davidson, uh, roll up. That has a good history about that. So. Ow! Pow! Hit him with the bedinga. He got you. Indeed he does. Indeed he does. Indeed he does. I bet they got the butt whooping of their lifetime when they got when they when they dad saw like, you can't be you can't be pimping me out like this. Let's see, Derek Derek Fisher will forever be disrespected. You may have got my my ex wife baby mama, but the streets know that I pulled up. I pulled up in a diaper just like you last episode. I don't. I'm not the baby. You wanted to talk about diapers like every other sentence last episode. What? <laughs> You know, diaper even, this, diaper that. See, I didn't even mention my diaper fetish this episode. Now look at you. Look at you revealing yourselves and revealing your truth. We can cut that we out. We knew we would let it let you come out of your closet. Hey, remember, hey, Mark, remember at Mark 20, 40 seconds? Mark that, delete it. <laughs> I'm going to mark it and I'm going to highlight it so everyone <laughs> can watch it. That's what I'm going to do. Pay attention to this. That's the only chapter I'm going to put in the video. All right. Jesse's big review, man, and, and comment below, man. If you look, if you wanna, if you wanna make some extra cash, you know, being our cameraman, you know, you'll make twenty, twenty five, fifty dollars oh, yeah. well, an episode for just two hours of work. Or if you want to be an intern, we that means we don't pay you, but you just get experience. And what's what's a better teacher than experience? And we pay you all. We pay you on twisted teas. We pay you in twisted teas and in snacks and Wendy's chicken nuggets. <laughs> At least it's better than Burger King because I don't even think that's real meat. Ooh, what twenty four, twenty four, what eighty nine cents? What a Burger King! I think you get like ten nuggets for like a dollar and fifty cents. You get fifteen for eighty nine cents on the app. So you gotta sign I don't, up. I don't even want to know what that is. <laughs> you better watch out. That might. No, I can't even say it. That might be like squirrel meat or something. It's like, it's like kangaroo it's, meat. It's bayou meat. It's crocodile. <laughs> Speaking um, of crocodile, speaking of people being ruthless, we're going from, mm. we're going from like to what are these like teenagers, preteens being crazy, to little younglings being crazy. Look at these kids. Kindergarten brought mixed tequila drink to school and shared it with his classmates. You know, I mean, you know, he's all at home. Mom got all of these bottles around. He, was, he ain't gonna miss one. He was like, is this a Snapple or is this a margarita? I don't know. I'll just grab one. <laughs> it's like that one commercial where the, the kid is all, why aren't you flipping your sign? And he's like, so people could read it. And he's like, I can't read. And then like, what, like, what was, he's in kindergarten. What would he, like, is he walking around well, with his big bottle? You should be able to read in kindergarten. So, like, your death day. so, so you mean to tell me this kindergarten is pulling up, uh, taking off his Ninja Turtle book bag and pull out of this big bottle of margarita mix? Said we're getting lit, YOLO. <laughs> oh, we ain't taking naps today. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine him just passing out shots? Everyone take a sip. Oh uh, man, you, it only took me, you know, only took him like one shot. They're babies. <laughs> Half a shot. <laughs> Start being all crazy. And there's probably it's always that one baby like mom, it's, it's just like the baby formula my mom gives me. When I used to drink the baby milk out of titty. You took that a little too far. Like, I, I thought you were gonna say like, oh, this tastes like when I was in the womb. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Brain damage. Uh. <laughs> that's why that's why some kid that's why some kids get held back. That's like you know. Do you ever did you ever know a kid that like got held back a lot? Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw this kid under the bus, but there was a kid I was a friend with that was a grade ahead of me. A kid I was a friend with. You you asked me a question. I'm telling you. No, my I'm telling. No, I was. We didn't go to any. You were still in Florida. I didn't even know you. That. This is here. You were two knew, years younger than me. I know it. I knew a kid that was a grade ahead of me, mm -hmm. and then we were in the same grade for a couple of years. What? And then he was in the grade behind me. <laughs> And he and ended then, up graduating with I, my little brother. I don't even know if he ever graduated, but I remember like I was a senior and I think he was a sophomore. And I was like, you're supposed That's to be ruthless. a year ahead of me. I mean, I remember I almost got I almost got held back one time in the fifth grade. But it was for like some dumb reason. And I was like, oh, for Jesse. developmental issues. Yeah, it was like Jesse doesn't know how to share. He doesn't want to share with anybody. I was like, I don't whatever. You gotta share your snacks. Stop no. being a little hog. This is my apple snacks. This is my fruit snacks. You can't have fruit snacks. I never shared. Yeah, of course. I used to stiff arm kids and say, bow down. 
But oh, we actually have a video clip from this. <laughs> Do you want to see it? Yes. What, what, what are they working with? Uh, well, here, let's get out of the way and I'll show you. A kindergartner brings a bottle of booze to class, and not only that, Jose. the student shared the alcoholic Pink. drink with four other students. Pink lemonade margarita. That sounds Woods, pretty good. Talking with parents tonight, Megan. Obviously, they want some answers. Why? Yes, they're upset. We need all parents the answers. You happened. ain't got the answers, During Sway. snack time, and they are just baffled that something like this could happen with their children. They tell me that it was a bottle similar to this one, <laughs> and this bottle, the label look like says, mad dog. has about 10% alcohol. That's a lot. And the school is saying immediately they called the parents involved or the parents of those five children involved to let them know what happened. Dang. There was so many thoughts running through my mind, like, oh, my God, what if, you know, what if it was open before the girl broke at the school? How much was it? Like Alexis Smith says Thursday morning she got a call you know from she was drinking. school, Grand River. <laughs> she be Academy. drinking while dropping the they kids off. Her kid that brought it. Brought a pre-mixed bottle of Jose Cuervo to class and shared it. And, and that it. was it. Because That's there was crazy. nothing more to that story like, besides kindergartners like to party. I mean, at the end of the day, adults just need to put the alcohol away. Because these kids... It's just you got to have the safety things. If you're a parent, you got to be have the uh, cabinet that has the child locks, oh, or I'm, have it way up high where they can't reach it. Oh, I remember back in the day, my mom used to have a she, my mom used to have a bar. She used to have a bar with all oh, the alcohol, and I remember she used to have these, because she raised you. She had the, the apple sour pucker. I used to like take a sip of it and drink. I drink. I tried like my whole life. You like to get a little pucker? Nah, it was I. Right. I didn't really care for it. I was I'm not a big fan of alcohol. It wasn't my thing. But you love Twisted Tea. Shout out our official sponsor, non sponsor. Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea. Uh, we you know we're not drinking today. We're trying to be good boys on a Sunday. Um, but we'll be Gavin back has next liver week. Problems. No, I don't. Yes. Actually. He's ugly. That's his problem. <laughs> you about to get replaced. This would be like a movie when they, they have the sequel and you're like, that's not that guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though he's playing the same role. Y'all might be saying that. But you so. know who is that guy? The next, this next, this next chapter, looks like ASAP and ASAP the Rocky, Rocky group. has reportedly been arrested at LAX airport when he landed. This is a supposedly a, a shooting that happened. Let me take us off screen here, and it looks like that um, they're saying that ASAP Bari says that ASAP Rocky got arrested because ASAP Redley told on him. Mm. And he ended up getting released from jail after posting five hundred and fifty thousand dollars bail. The rail boss, why you went to the police? This rat a told on Rocky. Rat Rocky released from jail. What did he do? He shot someone. Oh my god! And I guess like they were trying to get evidence, and they really didn't have enough to arrest him. But I guess they. Uh, got ASAP Rail for questioning, and he folded like a cheap blanket and uh, sold out his brother. I mean, I guess he got ASAP Rocky's having a rocky year. <laughs> Somebody boo that man. <laughs> boo. No, whatever, man. Like I said, so I mean, my prayers go out to ASAP Rocky. You know, we hate he snitches. He went from cheating to shooting people. He that, went from getting Rihanna pregnant to cheating to shooting people. Like, I mean, they trying to assassinate his career faster than. Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about there, but I hope she figures it out because he needs to be there to raise his baby and not be in all these uh, troubles with the law. Exactly. You know, we, we need to get these things situated because we already know Drake got that lurking. He want Rihanna. Drake is definitely lurking. He's like a fish in the water. He can smell the blood. He can smell it. He's like a smell of messing up. Let me send her a little text. You know what I mean? Because, you know, Cause, Cause, beef can get serious. It can get real serious. Like, especially in your own group, you have problems in your own group. It can end up like our next topic. You know, just like in Brick Squad. You know, my favorite rapper, Waka Flocka. Oh my God. So, no, it's actually not your favorite. It's my favorite rapper, Waka Flocka. Back in the day, explain why he left his situation with Gucci Mane and Brick Squad. And actually, uh, one year we went to a Waka show. I should have got footage. Um, I mean, I mean, I have footage, but put it on the show. Uh, we actually got uh, backstage and we're on stage with Waka Flocka. But my co-host, um, I think he got beat up or something. But I he, wasn't there. He, he couldn't make it. <clears throat> I had it, to work that day. And he missed uh, the uh, event of a lifetime. So he only got to see got pictures. Stage. Yep. 
But I feel like if I was, if I was there, that probably wouldn't got on stage. They wouldn't have let us. Like, ah. They said he looks like Florida problems. He looks like a savage. He's from Florida. Um, but I was look- foaming it at the mouth around all that time of, time of the year. Yeah, I remember that. That's just wrong. But let's see what Waka has to say on the Gucci situation. He left because I could go through my problems and understand why I left. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you left Gucci? Yeah. Okay. So it, it, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that we don't fuck with each other. It's just that. So can we talk about that? Why you felt like it was your time to like go away? From, from I hit the ceiling. Hit the ceiling, you said? Yeah. Okay. He comfortable. I'm not. Wow. He comfortable with being who he is. I can't. I just, I could come like this. Champion, sweater, Nikes, you know, like your, like my artist chain. Like I don't, I know I don't have to put a $20 million ring on for you to believe me. You know what I'm saying? I know I ain't got to have niggas around me beefing. Mm. Yep. I'm not saying mm. he doing it. Right. But my boy don't got the comprehension for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the that sit in a room full of 40 people and run a company because I know how to do it. Mm. I know the certain business deals I got to make with companies to do it because I get, I like that. I, I want to put my tour together. I don't want nobody to give me two man. Mm. So super unfortunate there. I wish uh, I thought, Gucci I thought... and Waka would work it out. And uh, I know there's other issues. I think he's really kind of dodging the question because I know there's other issues. That what, like fights about, and about money and all that stuff? Fights and money and talking crap about each other and not being cool with that. Um, so they just need to figure it out. Because mm-hmm. I, I remember we needed Ferrari boys too. That would have been fine. You know what? I might pay Ferrari boys as soon as we get off this uh this episode today. Ferrari boys was an awesome tape. That's the best group. That's the best. That was the best label ever. Ever. Yeah. Shout out. You know, Frenchie, Wooda Kid, Slim Duncan, R.I.P. Slim Duncan. Do you think they're gonna make a song? Do you think they would ever make a song together again? Maybe. I mean, Gucci seems a lot cooler and mellower, but mm-hmm. he just has to not. I think watch Waka thinks that Gucci tries to like. Be tough, too tough. Like shit on him, and he's not gonna take that. So just be nice, Gucci. You don't just have be to be nice. the boogeyman all the time. Shitty, you, you already smoking on Pookie Low. You just need to let it be. Speaking of smoking on Pookie Low, looks like they were smoking on more than that. A little Shondell you. Gregory. <laughs> oh God! Put in the comments if you know what that is. But guess at wedding, were hospitalized after eating food allegedly laced with cannabis. Bride, mm-hmm. bride and caterer charged. Like, I mean, before you start the wedding, you're supposed to speak to the bride and groom, say, this is what you want, this is what you don't want. But I, Yeah, that's what I wonder. Did, like, since they arrested the bride, did she approve this or did she ask this? Like, oh, I want to have a fun thing for my wedding. And then the people started freaking out because not everybody agreed <laughs> agreed to it. Mm-hmm. It's probably that one. It's always that one person that gets sick and it messes up everybody because they probably would have never known if somebody got sick. Yeah, we. I gotta tell us a David G story. Not right now, but oh. when next time we have him on, remind me. And it's about what happens when you give someone stuff that oh, you man. don't tell them. I remember this. Okay, so tell me why. I remember this one time that oh, somebody gave me a cookie. They gave me uh, this big, this big chocolate chip cookie. It's like this big. It's, it's an edible. It's an edible cookie, and I ate. Like, I ate a part of it. I'm like, man, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. I don't really taste anything. It tastes like it tastes like edible. You know, it's just like, yeah, yeah, you can but taste then it. I'm, I, I ate it. So then tell me why I'm at my job. I'm over here answering calls. And out of nowhere, I feel like I'm on a 747 jet and I'm like sitting on like the wingtip just flying. I'm like, I'm over here panicking. I'm like, I'm about to fall. I'm like, what? what I'm, I'm just feel the wind just flying past me. It must have been more than that. It was crazy. I had to like, I had to like, I had to like put the person on hold. And I ran to the bathroom, like put water in my face. I think I ended up clocking out of work earlier that day like oh i don't crazy. i can't do it today guys i can't make it and edibles it really it must have been laced with something i don't know you gotta you gotta really watch your portions because you know some edibles they, they real 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 weak Light. yeah i've been like other ones they mm. knock you on yet they Jeez. come out of nowhere they slow creepers like like r kelly and gavin <laughs> slow creepers are you talking about when you're in the bathroom and you have a little turtle head you really get me in the bathroom you nasty son of a <laughs> no. gun Oh my God! Never mind. Never mind. Oh, we're never not talking mind about me. your your fantasies. Uh, oh, so we're we talking about Jada Pinkett Smith fam- fantasies. We're talking about uh, what is it? Uh, Fazy on Love calls love out uh, Jada Pinkett Smith for asking black people to boycott Oscars but attend the award show when Will got nominated. That yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> say it. It's too much bleepity bleepity bleep. But let's go ahead and check out a clip. That's Listen, so Jada, Jada wasn't, but Will was laughing. She just told motherfuckers 
Fuck the Oscars. God damn. He can't and, watch um, his She's like, we're boycotting the Oscars. And that year, Chris was hosting. She mm-hmm. asked him to step down. Step down from feeding your family. Step and, down. So, so here we go. 2016, Will Smith confirms he won't attend the Oscars uh, over lack of diversity. When you say that, you can't come when you get when you get um, nominated. Nominated. Yeah. That's some that's some whole shit too. Because yeah. now you say, "Oh, <laughs> they're cool now. That? I'm nominated." Fuck I'm no. Nominated. I'm- you look like a squirrel. It doesn't like, and like they said before, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, like he got banned from coming to like the event, but yeah. he can still get nominated. He can yeah. still win awards. So it's really not nothing. And on top of that, if y'all were y'all, y'all weren't really that in tune to go, you were exactly. only going since you were up to win. Um, you, I don't think you would have gone any other year that you're not nominated. Exactly. I mean, you've so. been in the game for like twenty, twenty, like twenty seven plus years. You got your win, so just let it be. Mm-hmm. But oh, I saw that Chris Rock's mom was speaking out about it, and she Everybody was like, was "And saying. she was like, when he slapped, when he slapped Chris, he slapped all of us." Oh my god, this is going too far. <laughs> and I was like, like everybody's eating off this. Like he slapped, Will Smith slapped him. Chris Rock brother getting some money. But both Chris Rock brothers getting some money. The, the interview mom, and the mama. The moms get some money. Chris Rock is going on like a tour now. He's, He's selling out everywhere. Out. And I'm like, this is just so fake. Hollywood is so fake. You know, matter of fact, Gavin, come here. Let's, let's play front hand, back hand. Uh, no, sir. Why not? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, calm yourself down. But, but speaking of not being calm, mm-hmm. uh, there is a new bill in Tennessee that uh, that would require drunk drivers to pay child support I'm if they it. kill the parent of a minor in a car crash. So I, I think this is a good deal. Wait, I mean, wait, wait, wait. What's considered a minor? How old is a minor? What's the oldest? What's... It's someone below 18. So if you kill somebody and they have a 15 year old child, oh, then you only got to pay the support for like three years. That's crazy. But if you take out someone that has like a five year old, then you got to pay till they're 18. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Hopefully, this brings a cracking down to this drunk driving. Drunk driving serious. Yeah, I really take need to watch Uber, out. Take an Uber, take a Lyft. Have one lane. No, don't end up like this. Da, 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 you know, get it. I've never got drive. in trouble. Um, But I'm not drinking. the one that calls at two in the morning. <laughs> I, didn't, I had a flossy tail light. I wasn't drinking. Yeah, and they checked more than your tail light. Oh. <laughs> but I think that hey yo, uh, but I think this is a good thing. Teach people a lesson for drunk driving. I mean, I think if you should get in trouble if you get caught doing it, but uh, if you kill someone, I think this is you uh, should take responsibility. You got to take all. responsibility, especially you know? if you're affecting a minor's life. Sorry, but you know, you know who out here, you know who else is out here affecting people's lives? Unlike alcohol, the chosen one, the chosen one, the only one. Mr. Not Pluto Daniel himself, son. Mr. Pluto and myself, Mr. Future. Looks like two sides to every story. Future is tired of being called toxic. These women are all were toxic to me first. No Dr. Doolittle. They don't, they just don't want to admit it. And I admit it, you women are toxic. I see you. I see you make Gavin cry. He cried for seven days and seven nights like Jesus. I don't know what's with you today. Last episode it was diapers. Today everybody's crying <laughs> what it's probably because you got your purple rain shirt on um but with future he said you know that there's two sides to every tight. story and that you know he wants more kids if he gets married it would it would be more special so he's basically taking a crap on all his old kids uh he probably is but you, you know you want to see a, the future's a great dad you know future got an album coming out real soon you said you shook your head um that's not with uh what's his name Sierra's baby daddy, Russell Wilson. That's not what Mr. Wilson said. Nobody. He cares. said he's always watching Baby Future. <laughs> he's a, he's a simp. Everybody knows that. But simp God. You know who's not a simp? Future. Let's play the clip. Let me. Let's see how these bitches be all on this day. Right, watch your language. Hi, Future. Do you want more kids? Um. Uh, yeah. Like seven. By my wife. But. If I ever get married, you know what I'm saying? I want to have kids by my wife, of course. It could be like three, because I never had more than one kid by a girl. So it's like if I had two by her, then it's like more than I had. So I feel like it was more special. Damn. More special. I need, see, I need that mindset. See, Gavin, I can't wait till we get in these streets and start having babies. Whoa. Not me and you, you know what I mean. 
Whoa, no. Time okay. to pause. When we start making that Joe Rogan money. No, you know, Papa Spotify, was a Rolling Stone. Give us. I need Gavin to give me like six babies. 50 mil. I need Gavin to give me like six of them. Why am I giving you babies? Why are I you need, trying to abduct my babies? I need, I need nephews. I need oh, to be, God. I need to have them running around. You're not around. allowed to corrupt my children. I'm going to be like Adam Sandler on, uh, what's it called? No, I'm going to I'm gonna teach all your children pranks so then they can just do them to you all the time. So that like when you go to pee, there'll be saran wrap on the toilet seat and you'll just pee all over yourself. I'm going to have to teach your kid how to eat ketchup with rice. I'm not going to allow my kid to be around you. Why not? Because you're, you're gonna try to be you mean. Have, Gavin, you have you're six try kids. Try to be evil. Gavin, you have six kids. You damn sure name one of them Jesse. Just know that. I might send if I have six. I'm probably sending two to live with you. <laughs> nah, I don't need those problems. Uh, but speaking of problems, we got they <laughs> trash, man. And this is trash. This is trash. So I'm, Ken, I should... Kendrick Perkins says. So what are we uh, going to say if the most skilled duo of all time gets swept? Just saying. I mean, exactly. I be on people. Too much. Like, they look like LeBron in 2012. Exactly. You know, if, just that, that's what they need. LeBron didn't have these problems. He would. He would. He would at least give him one win. It's yeah. I mean, KD just looks. He looks like a D leaguer right there. You know, right now it's like you know Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are just beating him f- like a redheaded stepchild. And how do you feel? Don't you? How do you feel that Boston is the one that's handing them this W? I mean. I want Boston to lose. Jason Tatum's an ish. I don't I, say no, that. no, no. I want Boston to lose, uh, no matter who they're playing against. Any team, I choose the team that's playing Boston. <laughs> and Jason Tatum is just a poor man's Luka Doncic. You know, you know, Luka scores more points, more rebounds, more assists, higher shooting percentage, and it's just all around better person. And uh, have you seen his new Jordan shoe? It just came out. Who, Lucas? Yeah, the Luca one. I need to see it. I might have. I, I forgot might. to get a picture. Sh- I'll share it with y'all next episode. How much will it cost? Uh, we don't know yet. You gotta check it out. We're gonna get him for the podcast, and we're gonna do a shoe review. But it's sad. I mean, like they are the most skilled team, and I really thought, like when they played Boston, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a good win. Like they could probably they can win this, like in they go keep, to six games. I, I think they messed up by trying to play all these small ball lineups. Like trying to play with like Kurt uh, or Curry, Tragic, and uh, like Irving, three point guards on the floor at one time. And it's like, and Patty Mills sometimes, they had like four point guards on the court one time. Like, you're not going to be able to pay any defense. Like, that's not going to work. I don't know why you would think that would work. And uh, they, you know, they played Blake Griffin in game three a little bit, and he looked great. He actually played really good defense on Jason Tatum. Uh, but he, it's the first game he's played. So, I don't know. Steve Nash is a new coach. Mm-hmm. It looks like that he needs some um, you know, experiencing. You know, he's getting experience now, but he's definitely showing that he doesn't have it. Has Dinwiddie, and, has Dinwiddie been playing? Dinwiddie's on Dallas. And he's been playing mediocre. Well, how's Seth, how Seth Curry been doing? Okay. He That's just fair. gets worked whenever he plays defense because he's so small. <laughs> he's just like you can't do anything when you're like six foot going Jason, against guys that and are like they six, seven, six, eight. They just hit this bully KD. They just, KD, they're like you are so skinny that we are gonna break your little twig arms. <laughs> Which is you know it's kind of bittersweet. It's like I hate Boston, but I also hate Kevin Durant because <laughs> he got my original Twitter account deleted. deleted because I trolled him and then he reported me and said I hurt his feelings. I have a screenshot on on my old phone. Oh, I'll maybe find it one day and show it on the show. Gavin was on Demon Town. So forget you, Kevin Demons. Durant. <laughs> oh, and it's probably because I talked trash to his mom. I oh, added man. his mom on Twitter as well, and I think she blocked me and reported me as well. Disrespect. So it was all the Durantulas were attacking me. Mm-hmm. But, you know, hopefully if they don't get swept, maybe they'll have a little pride. But it looks like that Jason Tatum's taking their manhood right now. Mm-mm. Shout out to Boston Celtics. No, no shout outs. I'm we hope you Celtics. lose in the second round. I thought you want the Heat to win. I thought <laughs> no, you're Mr. Florida. I man. want the Heat. I want the Celtics to beat your team. Any They're not my team. My team any, is Dallas. Listen, anytime I, you go against Boston, I want Boston to win. Except for when they play Miami, then we on the same time side. I just whoever's going to. It's like the Cowboys. Oh no, I, no, no, no! I, no. Always, I would never I, like the Cowboys. No, I don't care who they go with. No, I always root for who's playing against the Cowboys. Every week, whoever's playing the Cowboys, I root mm-hmm. for them. Unless unless it's like the Ravens. That's the only team. <laughs> oh, Lord. Because it's still Steelers and still, uh, you know, I still support the, the Giants a little bit. Horrible. 
Uh, but let's uh, speaking of not getting uh, support, it looks oh, like uh, historic Florida House Republicans passed a vote to end Disney's ridiculous tax breaks. So businesses can get tax breaks to be in cities or states and uh, Disney, uh, Disney World and um, had been getting into political things in the, with the Florida and uh, voicing their opinion and basically challenging the people that do the laws in Florida. Well, Disney's tax renewal came up and they voted to no longer give them tax breaks. <laughs> so they just cost themselves hundreds of millions of dollars that they were saving mm -mm 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 -mm. in tax cuts. She's trying to be woke. Now you go broke. Exactly. Oh, that's what they said. <laughs> that's what they said. Go woke, go broke. That's what happens. I Disney mean, you know, trying every... to be too woke and now they lost all their tax breaks, mm -hmm. which will cost them, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, that year. sucks. That's, I mean, that really sucks, but I mean, at the same time. Well, you can hear people literally screaming. Let's play the clip real quick. Debatable and requires a majority vote. All in favor, say aye. aye. All opposed, no. <laughs> Show the bill, show it, motion passes. We will now proceed to call the previous question. <laughs> Screaming. The, 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 the clerk will unlock the machine and members will proceed to vote on Senate Bill 4C. Mm -mm -mm. 4C. Have all members voted? Have all members voted? Crazy. Clerk will lock the machine, announce the vote. 70 days, 38 days. Mr. Show the bill Speaker. passes. Read the what? 78, 70, 38? Yeah. Golly. They ain't playing no games yeah, with Disney. So, so Disney really shot themselves in the foot. If they just would have stayed quiet on social issues, they would have saved themselves hundreds of millions of dollars that they're now going to have to pay in state taxes. Mm -hmm. I mean, hopefully. I mean, I know they got it, but that's messed up. Like now, now, now they're going to charge us, you know, anytime there's a new movie, they're going to be like, we need an extra yeah, five Raven dollars. Raven Simone so owes them everything because they did this for Raven Simone. For no, real they, talk, she because she's she's part of the she's part of the alphabet community. God dang man, that's what they said. You oh. want She couldn't see this future. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking to seeing this future, she couldn't save Orlando. <laughs> oh God, that's, um, that's what one that said. Orlando Orlando Brown said. Um, that, what did he uh, say? That, what, what did he say that he gave her? He said uh, that she walked off. She walked off set because of the whole uh, Disney Channel's not supporting H. But uh, I thought, is she, what is she still doing with Disney Channel? I thought she, she was done. No, she does the reboot for That's a Raven. Oh my god! And they're doing they're doing another reboot. They do a reboot with That's a Raven with the kids. Now they're trying to do, they're bringing Orlando they're, Brown back. Don't don't do it. That's <laughs> bad. You're giving kids bad examples, people. And this is why you're ending up in positions that you are now. And this is why you end up looking like a goofy. Like our next topic, Mrs. Megatron. Mm -hmm. It takes five dudes the, to make this tall bitch. <laughs> god dang. Why do you have to go so hard at Meg the Megasaurus? I'm just tired of her lying. Like, just tell, like, we know you lying. Like, just say, like, I don't know. Just let it go. I was really scared because I've never been shot at before. And he was like, dance, Megan, dance. <laughs> it's just making any sense. And then, like, just, just play it. Just play it. Let's, yeah. let's see her bad acting. I didn't want to move too quick. Like, because I'm like, oh, my God. If I take the wrong Irma -ger. step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like... Super important. I don't know if he could shoot me and kill me. Like, were you afraid for your life at that I time? I was really scared because I had never been shot at before. I was I never been shot at before. I was real scared. You full of cap. <laughs> Full of cap. Full of cap. They said it doesn't make any sense. Like when I saw this, I, first of all, I already knew about that. She's come. First of all, she's coming out. Supposedly, she's trying to come out a documentary. She's trying to do all the other stuff to cover up the fact that she lied. Like you lied. She's gonna end up like Coyle Ray and sell nine k first week. No, she's gonna sell more than nine k. But I mean, it's just trash. Twenty k. And you know, she's losing everything. Like she's losing her. She's losing the trial with Tory Lanez. She's losing the trial with her old record label. And she lost her Sprite deal. For real. No, no, I don't know. I'm she had a spray deal? No, I'm just playing. What about the... Hey, did you try the, the Popeye's chicken Megan deal? The, the, the Megan sauce? Oh, sorry. you were face deep in the Megan sauce. Oh, I love the Megan sauce. But, I mean, everybody... Okay, so back to this. Everybody was talking about Megan and Stylin and this little Gail Kent. This is, she went to Gail, Gail King. Gail King. Oprah's best friend. And she gave this interview. She was trying to give puppy dog tears. It didn't work. She wasn't crying. She, looked like, she looked like Kyle Rittenhouse. Exactly. When you remember who's... Like, <laughs> Like, this is hard, but then she wants to sit here and lie and says, "Oh, he he stood up on a car and he said dance, be dance." But then they do the police. They have they go in there in court right now, and they're saying he didn't have any gun residue on him. So and how, all the other witnesses say different. 
Exactly. I mean, Gav, you know, you know about guns. So, like, if I sh- if you shoot a gun, you're gonna have residue. Exactly. Just anytime you pop something, there's gonna be some residue. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's so you just that's so you just put it in the towel and throw it in the corner. Mama clean it up later. Just hit her with the towel. The towel be all stale standing up standing up in the corner. And they're like, oh you got a towel rack? Oh, it's standing up by itself. That's nasty. But uh we'll see what happens here. Will what make you... me victorious or Tory Lane since he's not allowed to speak on this. Will he Doesn't just make get, any continue sense. to get slandered? Like how can you talk about this but Tory can't talk about this? How can you talk about fifteen oh one but that he can't talk about it? Like that's it's sex- just that's sexist. It's hard with sexist. You know, you hate man. I think Meg Megasaurus hates man. She does. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's the news of the week. We're gonna wrap up the show with getting into some music picks. Ooh, the new music yeah. Monday. You know, shout out to Music Mondays, you know. Shout out this background. We got planets getting destroyed. I love it. We're about to get obliterated. That's what she said. <laughs> hey, yo. Um, but, you know, another shocking compilation. Another music mix. Another update. Shout out Fat Trail. Shout out Yellow, Little Yachty and Rob 49. You know, that little, that Rob 49 song is actually pretty good. I, That's one I, I have not listened to. I added, the, I added it because you know. I know you added it, but I, I did add songs. the Little Yachty song and I added the Fat Trail song. So I heard it first. What, are you trying to be like Ray J? I hit it. I, I hit heard it, I hit it. it first. <laughs> you sound like a retarded but, bunny. <laughs> okay, Tinky Winky. It's your purple shirt. Um, but Stop reading my text messages. Self-snitching <laughs> is at an all-time high. But we got 1,150 views. So we got over 100 views from last week on our playlist. This video keeps growing. Remember, at 250 music videos, we will jump to tftc music mix three so to make sure to make uh add that when it comes out um but you know great playlist make sure you check it out and we got some other music popping up we yes got, please check it out you know do you like that dropping. we actually have like the, the artist name on the side you like see you know i came up with some great ideas you know push it push a t drop the new tape well you got mike dean drop the tape bless drop the tape my my pick of the is week is it blast or what is it bliss blast bliss. I don't know. something i don't Blitzed. care about a B, you know, it's a lot of songs coming out. And, oh yeah, and Cyberpunk. What is that? Mm, mm, uh, mm, is that from the video game? A whole bunch of singles with Southside, Travis Scott, and Future, The Kid Leroy, um, Ed Sheridan, your favorite artist. Why is he coming up on like rap list now? <laughs> you know. He oh, because he has Little Baby. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, he's a crossover artist now. He's like, um, he's like Nelly doing country songs. He's, um, in, he's in the opposite of Post Malone. He's gonna lose money though. Post yes. Malone messed with black people and went to the white people and made millions. And that Ed Sheeran is gonna experience he's gonna bankruptcy. Do, he's gonna go go the other way. He's gonna go bankrupt. Uh, but that's basically all the music mix uh, or new music that you can see. You can pause it and uh, read all what's coming out. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into our my pick, my music pick of the week. Our that, picks of the week. No, and my your pick, pick of- is first. But you need to, you need to calm yourself. You need to hold your horses. Are you ready now? Badinga. Let's go. A B about business. Drop the new album. Again, parang. Par- he can't spell. Adam. Come on, Floyd. Paradium. Paradium. Yeah. I said it right. I'm gonna call it the patty melt. Uh, but it looks like he got a lot of features on it. He looks like the only way he knew that he was gonna get views is if he paid for him. Everybody, so on here. everybody and their mother is on here. We got. I'm gonna listen to it as soon as I get in the car. He's got the baby. He's got Young Thug. He's got uh French Montana. You did real good on this album cover. You should do it more like this more often, Gavin. Forty two Douglet. Young uh, Thug. You got French Montana. He's got like seven songs. He got so Keisha Cole. A fire. You know, he got his getting sturdy on. You know, I love it. I maybe we might react to this and like like kind of skip through it on a reaction video on uh-huh. crib reactions just so we can laugh at this and I'm see it. if it's actually good. Whatever. My pick is better than your pick. I mean, my pick may not be as known because everyone knows A B from football, so that's not really fair. <laughs> but if you want to speak about Chicago legends, 
Street Legends, original 600 member legend. Uh huh. We got my boy S. Dot. Ooh. With his homeboy, 485 King Sumo. Uh -huh. They have the Finesse Gang uh, mixtape hosted by DJ Young JD. And I actually like uh, DJ Young JD. He was pretty good. He did a lot of the old tapes. Um, I've listened to some of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It uh, sounds like classic S. Dot. Okay. And uh, King Sumo uh, is a good person to go along with him musically. And it's his buddy. So it's a cool tape. They're both on 485 Entertainment, which is who uh, S. Dot is with now. No, I'm gonna check that out. Remember, y'all need to check out our music, our music choices. Everything we pick is bangers. Everything we pick is fire. Just don't, don't ask, don't ask, don't ask our opinion. Ask your girl. Don't ask me any questions. Don't ask me any questions. But, but you know what you can't ask me? How to, to find like, our YouTube page? Comment so you can, and subscribe. I Hit thought that that's what you bell. were gonna say. Come on, you, you were so close. Nah, man, you you over there jumping into you got you got you know you got to flow. You got to let it hey, marinate. I, I'm not the one that's known for jumping the gun. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm not Jared, the subway guy. Uh, but you can follow us at Twitter at Papa O Block is me. My co-host is at Felix Supreme three hundred five. On the road to six K, I will be back on my Instagram ish this week. Stop playing with. Us. Oh yeah, and uh, my co-host Instagram is linked on our Instagram if you're looking for his IG. And uh, so go ahead and subscribe. Stop being a little hater. Hit the subscribe button. Stop being so lazy. Make that account. bell. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. What are yeah. you talking about? Hit it. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Calm down, Prince. <laughs> Turn it down, Prince. Uh, but follow Crib Reactions. Follow TFTC Gaming. They're linked on the page on the other channel section. There's the QR code for Tales from the Crib. That's pretty much been. Uh, that's been it. That's been the episode. That's episode fifty. That's Tales from the Crib. I want to say before we go in the the college the college college football. Stop selling my merch idea. I came up with the QR code on the back of the shirt first. What you guys doing? That's stupid. I actually made the QR code. That's a lot. <laughs> We're all with that. I got it. But thank you for viewing episode fifty. We hope to give you fifty more episodes. Road to a hundred subscribers. We're only three away. So tell your friends. Tell your buddy. Follow us on the IG. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see y'all next week. Exactly. And if she's old enough to cross the street, she's old enough to play ball. I'm definitely <laughs> deleting that. We'll see y'all later. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs>